William Skull versus Vladimir Shishkin. 12 rounds in the 168-pound division for the vacant IBF belt, the belt that Canelo Alvarez vacated. So there's a good chance that the winner of this belt may possibly get that Canelo fight. Obviously, we never know what Canelo is going to do. It's always up to him, but it would make sense that he goes and takes the winner of this fight, collect that belt, and become undisputed again. But let's get into it, man. This is a great opportunity for both men to become a champion. Let's start with their respective records. Will William Skull, 22 wins, no losses, 9 wins by way of knockout. Shishkin, 16 wins, no losses, and 10 wins by way of knockout. I think this is a good, solid fight. I don't think either guy is a clear edge cut favorite. I'd be very curious to see what the betting odds are for this fight. I think this is a fight that could go either way. I think William Skull, man... For those who don't know him or know him very well, I think he's a good, solid fighter. He's got good hand speed, uh, accurate with his punches. He's got good footwork. He's got good pop, not devastating power, but he's got the type of power where you got to respect what's coming your way. Good counter puncher, accurate. He knows how to get his shots off. He's not a brawling type of guy, not really inside the pocket type of guy for the whole fight. He can in spurts, but not give him that mid distance where he can pounce and attack or counter and step back or keep the distance, reset his feet, and get out of the ropes and get back to the center of the ring. You got to be careful when you fight William Skull because he can loop shots in from a distance. Two fights stick out to me when I think about William Skull, man. It's that fight against Evgeny Shevdenko, a guy who was undefeated at the time, um, and a guy who was a very confident fighter, doesn't have a whole lot of power behind him, but a very tough, grueling, and strong type of fighter, and a guy who could buy and I thought that Skull fought a very calculated fight, used his jab and kept the fight in the center of the ring, showed good defense, but most importantly throughout that fight, man, he made it a very boring type of fight, right? It wasn't the most exciting fight by no means, but Shevdenko could not hit the target. William Skull made himself very tough to hit. And if you can't cut off the ring against William Skull, he's going to use that jab and overhand right uppercut. He's going to do those things from round one to however long the fight is going to be. He's tough to hit if you cannot slow him up. And the more the pace is at a slower pace, it works in the greater favor of William Skull because he's got that speed, he's got that explosive movement, and he can slip shots. A slower pace fight works great in his favor. And against Shevdenko, he took what was given to him, but he forced Shevdenko to chase him around the ring rather than to be a lot more calculated and cut off the ring and go to the body. Now, in William Skull's most recent fight, he fought Sean Hemphill, which is the other fight that comes to mind. Um, Sean Hemphill was undefeated at the time. A guy who's got good power in his shots, he can box. Uh, I thought that was really good performance from William Skull. Hemphill was coming to win the fight. He was pushing the pace. He was turning up the pressure of the fight, man. He was trying to impose his will and trying to really catch William Skull on the ropes and then tee off of him, right? But I felt like William Skull stayed patient, stayed poised, and stayed within himself and still stuck to fighting his fight, even though he was getting pressured. He countered with precision, found his timing, and he also made himself tough to get hit, man, by moving and not being stagnant. You know, he doesn't shell up on the ropes, at least from what we've seen so far, he hasn't done it. He also fainted very well to, to set up his shots, that overhand power right. He scored himself a knockdown in that fifth round before ultimately boxing his way to a victory so i felt like he looked very sharp in that fight man and he beat another undefeated opponent so this is a great opportunity for him here man but i think shishkin is going to pose a different level of threat and give him a little more to worry about than the guys that he's faced so far now shishkin he's bigger than skull right packs a bigger punch than skull 
And he's got a win over a former champion in Jose Uzcategui, and he's also beat Sena Ajikbeko. So he's fought some skilled fighters, a former champion, and he's fought some guys that can punch as well, too. If you just look at the Vladimir Shishkin highlights, man, you would think Skull has no way of winning this fight because if you're just basing off what you see, Shishkin's highlights have a lot of devastating knockout blows <laughs> attached to him. Shishkin is different than Skull stylistically because Shishkin is a more physical guy. He's going to be a little bit slower than Skull, but he's not slow with his punches. He still rips through combinations with good speed and he's accurate with his punches. He's a guy who comes in with a game plan. He doesn't just headhunt all the time. He's going to go to all parts of the body and he's going to make the body a priority. And he's got some steam on those punches too. Even his counters, they're powerful counters. And every shot that Shishkin throws is not just going to be that one shot knockout type of attempt. He's going to touch you a little bit, right? Touch, touch, and then come through with that power hand. You know, he's, he's a guy who likes to be and is used to being on that front foot and imposing his power and physicality and his pressure on his opponents. He's got a nice uppercut and he's looking to set that shot up, man. He's not afraid to let his hands go. He will go shot for shot. Like that's the type of time that Shishkin is on. When he fought Sena Ajikbeko, man, he had some adversity to fight through in that fight. He had a blood coming down from the side of his face. Um, and so he had to fight through with that. Ajikbeko was landing some really nice counters as well too. Like Shishkin was getting hit cleanly with some punches. So we know that he can take a shot. He's got a good solid chin because Ajikbeko, I felt, tested that chin a little bit. But he did get clipped with those counters and Ajikbeko was not the fastest guy there is, right? And William Skull has much faster hands than Sena Ajikbeko, so if he can find the right timing properly, those counters will be there for him as it was for Ajikbeko as well too. I also like Shushkin's performance against Jose uh, Uzkategui. When you can beat a former champion, man, it does two things for you. It gives you a massive, massive mental boost and mental confidence. And the second thing it does is if this guy was once a champion and I beat him, it, then maybe I can be a champion too, right? So there are some really good things that I'm sure happened for Shishkin when he beat Uzkategui that makes him ready for a moment like this one. Shishkin's last opponent was a fighter by the name of Mike Guy. Uh, I believe he's got 14 wins, seven losses. Um, and he didn't really give Shishkin too much of a push, not too much resistance. He dominated the fight from start to finish before closing the fight out in the seventh round. So this is going to be a good fight. It's going to be a different challenge for Shishkin as much as it's going to be a different challenge for William Skull as well, too. I think this one should be a good one to watch. So who wins? Before I give my pick on this fight, I have something real quick to share. You know, I'm always looking to bring more light, more value, more opportunities for the community. I've been working on a few different things in recent weeks to not just grow the channel, but as I said, to continue to provide as much value as I can to each of you in our community. With that being said, I got some exciting news to share. I'm happy to announce my partnership with BetStamp and Sign Up Expert. It's a great opportunity for you to join some of the best sports books to get the best odds and new you user offer. All you have to do is head over to my dedicated page at signupexpert.com slash the breakdown to explore a selection of sports books tailored to your region, each with its own unique offerings. So if you want to place a bet this weekend and on this fight and beyond, check out the link to find the best options for you in your region. Every sign up does support the channel and it helps the channel grow and to expand and to create more opportunities, not just for me, but for our community. You know, I'm always looking out for you guys as best as I can. You can easily find the link in the description below this videos and videos moving forward. So get down there and check it out and find the best option for you. Now, let's get back to the video. I think this one is going to come down to whether Shishkin can cut off the ring and close the gap to get his shots off against William Skull. If he can't contain the mover, right, William Skull is going to counter him and box his way to victory. 
Shishkin is used to having his way, right? He's used to having his, his target right there in front of him where he can tee off on him. He can go to the head where he doesn't have to seek and find his opponent. His opponent's going to be right there. So I think William Skull can make him frustrated by using his athleticism and elusiveness to be able to stay out of the way and then catch him coming in when Shushkin overcommits to a shot. But I also think at times, William Skull, he's going to have to stand and fight to get the respect of Shushkin. And that could be a point where he finds himself in trouble if he is not disciplined and gets too emotional and takes too much of a uncalculated risk. He's got to take calculated risk in this fight. Talking about William Skull, if he wants to win and not fight an emotional fight, he can box his way to a victory. Again, as I said at the beginning, like I'm curious to see who the favorite is here. Uh, I, I think this is a very close fight, uh, but I like William Skull to win this fight by decision. I like the speed. I like the technical boxing. I like the movement of Skull over the bigger, stronger brawler in Shishkin. But at the same time, Shishkin could come in and he could knock out William Skull as well, too. Like, that would not be a, a, a surprise for me. He could score a knockdown. That wouldn't be a surprise for me. Shishkin winning this fight shouldn't be a surprise to anybody that has been watching both of these men. I don't think the odds should be crazy in this fight. I think it should be pretty fair and pretty close, um, whatever it is. So if you know the odds, let me know in the comment section below. But I do think it's going to be a close fight. If it is a close fight, Skull is Cuban born, but he does fight out of Germany. And this fight is taking place in Germany. So if it is a close fight, knowing that this fight is in Germany, do with that as you will. If you know, you know. So those are my thoughts. I would love to hear from you. How do you think this one goes? Who do you have winning? Let me know in the comment section below. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video this long, do me a favor and like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll definitely see you next time.